Yo, what's cool y'all? In today's video, I got the how to make crater slash debris effects. You guys know when you're playing really any type of combat game, mainly in battlegrounds games, you guys know how there's like kind of like debris and impact frames and all that stuff. Like if you I don't know, stomp the ground or you slam a player into the ground or like you punch a player and stuff, there's like a debris like effect. I'm gonna show you guys uh how to make that effect. Kind of like this is more so for like if you're doing like a stomp type of thing, or like if you're slamming a player into the ground, right? So I'm gonna show you guys how to do it and stuff. Shout out to whoever made the code because I got the code from someone else when I was uh, trying to figure out how to do it and then I just rewrote it and stuff. Cause really truly I I spent like days trying to figure this out and like it was, it was really difficult. But anyway and stuff so i finally got y'all with this thank you guys for all the love and support y'all been showing on all the videos and stuff i really appreciate it thank you to all my new uh discord subscribers and youtube subscribers i really do appreciate it i'm sorry discord subscribers youtube members i appreciate all y'all and excuse me and thank you guys for just all the love and support i've been showing we're close to 5,000 subscribers and yeah and stuff oh actually i think it's also um to, oh yeah, yeah, yeah by the time you guys have seen this it is 2024 so happy new year's and stuff i don't know if this is like the first video of the new year i don't know but happy new year's and stuff and yeah, let's go ahead and get straight into the video okay so first things first we're gonna go ahead and um let's go ahead and knock out our sound so i'm i got a little explosion sound um i mean uh, actually it's like that we don't really need it i mean you get a stomp sound but yeah because i was kind of thinking of a different idea before but yeah so it doesn't really matter but anyway, we're going to need a remote event. So let's insert a remote event into replicated storage, right? We're going to rename the remote event to combat event. Then I'm going to open up starter player. I'm going to insert a local script into starter player scripts. I'm going to rename said script combat script and in parentheses put local, right? Enter. Then I'm going to delete print hello world. I'm going to create a variable for the user input service. I'm going to say local UIS is equal to game get service user input service then i'm gonna create a variable for the combat remote event local combat event is equal to game that replicated storage wait for child combat event then i'm gonna set up the function for the for the uh user input service i'm gonna say uis that input began connect function in parentheses put input i'm gonna process enter then i'm gonna say if input that user input type is equal to nm that user input type dot keyboard and not processed which pretty much just means um that a player is not uh they're not uh what's up, wait oh yeah sorry I'm trying to and not process this pretty much uh ensures that a player is not typing in chat right and not processed enter then I'm gonna say if input that key code is equal to nm dot key code dot e enter right then I'm gonna say combat event fire server in quotation marks i'm just gonna put crater that's what i'm gonna call the event um up to you guys to really put whatever name you want but i'm just going crater i had had that stop before but whatever also up to you guys whatever type of key bind you want to give it right then we can go ahead and close this out we can insert a server script into server script service name set script combat script and in parentheses put server boom then we can delete print hello world right let me go ahead and set up a server code. It's honestly, it's honestly not that much. Like it's only 40 lines of code. So first things first, we're gonna need to get the tween service. So let's do a local TS. Oh, let me move that out the way. It's equal to game get service tween service. Then I'm gonna get the debris service. Local DS is equal to game get service debris service, right? Or debris, sorry. Then I'm gonna create a variable for the combat event that we get into the function. So local combat event is equal to game that replicated storage right for child combat event, right? Then I'm gonna set up the combat event function. I'm gonna say combat event on server event, connect function, right? In parentheses, I'm gonna put PLR short for player, comma, event type, enter. Then I'm gonna say, I'm, I'm gonna get the uh, player's character. So I'm gonna say, or actually, wait. Mm, is there actually a need for that? Um, yeah, we can, yeah, okay. yeah, we do it. So I'm gonna say local character is equal to player dot character, right? Then I'm gonna say if event type is equal to in quotation marks crater enter right oh sorry enter then I'm gonna set up the raycast params because we do use raycast in this right so we're gonna say local raycast params I'm gonna try my best to explain how everything works and stuff I like I generally understand like what it is I'm typing but like just overall how it works I'm gonna try my best to explain it so we're of course we're gonna set up some raycast frames we're gonna say raycast frames dot new boom then we're gonna say raycast frames dot filter descendants instant type is equal to special brackets we're just going to leave it blank and then i'm going to say raycast params dot filter type is equal to enum dot raycast filter type dot exclude right 
then you're going to create a variable for the angle you're going to say local angle right because remember it is a circle so we're going to say it's equal to zero we're going to start it off at zero we're going to increase each time i'm going to say four i equal to one this is what this is your starting point so everyone should have the number one comma then here's how many odd parts is going to be so i'm going to go with 30 but it's up to you guys for however much you want to do then enter right then because means it's going to run 30 times so we're going to calculate the size by doing local size is equal to math dot random sorry dot random i'm going to say two comma four up to you guys once again uh how big you want the the um debris effects to be so you guys can play around with all the other stuff you can play around until you get your desired result honestly then we're going to create the actual debris part so we're going to say local debris is equal to instance dot new in quotation marks put part parent it to the workspace so enter then you're going to say debris dot anchored first to make sure it's anchored we're tweening it so it doesn't matter if it's anchored or not then we're going to say debris dot size is equal to we're going to start it off as vector three dot new one comma one comma one and then we're going to tween it to the actual size to the size up here right so that it like you know it also enlarges itself right and then we're going to set the c frame about three different times and that's excluding tweening it so first things first this is this is considered the initial c frame this is just make sure it's at the right angle and everything so i'm going to say debris dot c frame is equal to character dot humanoid root part dot c frame sorry dot c frame right times c frame dot from euler euler angles xyz zero comma math dot rad you're gonna put um angle in here then you're gonna put a comma in between comma zero right and then you, at the end you're gonna say time c frame that new in parentheses you're going to put 10 comma 3 comma 0 right boom then we're gonna set up the ray cast we're gonna say local ray cast is equal to workspace ray cast then for the origin, we're going to say debris dot. Okay, make sure you want to do C frame dot position. We want to make sure it's exact. So we're going to want to get the C frames position, not just the debris position, right? Then put a comma. And then I'm going to say debris dot C frame dot. Or sorry, not look vector, up vector, right? We're going to say up vector. Then we're going to say times negative. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. Times negative 10, right? Once again, you guys can play around with those numbers, then put the raycast params, and boom. Just like that, we've done the raycast. Then, of course, we're going to check to make sure that the raycast is, is successful so we don't have any errors. So, if raycast enter, right, let's go down a little bit. So, if raycast done, we're going to set, we're going to set the position. We're going to say debris dot, sorry, dot position, right, is equal to raycast dot position plus vector three dot new zero comma negative five comma zero want to make sure it's a little low right low to the ground because you know negative bits are going down then we're going to say debris dot material so the raycast is also to make sure that the like the color and the material which is honestly really cool is to make sure the color and material matches whatever the part like say if your map has like the like the ground is like black and the material is like plastic it's going to make sure that the debris effect is black and also plastic and stuff we're going to set that up real quick so you, don't, you wouldn't have to change it based on your uh, map stuff, which I honestly find really cool. Is equal to, you're going to say raycast.instance.material, right? Boom. Then you're going to say debris.color is same thing, raycast.instance.color. Then you're going to say debris.size. Here's where the size variables come into play. You're going to say is equal to vector3. And you're just going to put size, comma, size, comma, size, right? Boom. Then you're gonna set this the C frame twice. So you're gonna say first, oh sorry, go to the next line. You're gonna set the C frame twice. First thing first, you're gonna say debris dot C frame is equal to C frame dot new. Then in parentheses, you're going to put debris dot C frame dot position, right? Then you're gonna put a comma, and you're gonna say character dot humanoid root part. Oh sorry, root part dot C frame dot position. Boom. Then onto the next one, you're gonna say debris dot c frame is equal to c frame dot new. Same thing, debris dot c frame dot position, right? Time of this time, you're gonna say debris dot c frame dot look vector times uh negative 180, right? Then you're gonna put you're gonna put a um. Mm, I forgot. What, I forgot. I think it's a plus. Yeah, I won't. I won't honestly. Won't. I'm, we're gonna hope for the rest, but I'm pretty sure it's a plus. So we're gonna say debris dot c frame dot up vector, right? And I'm gonna say times 180, right? And then boom. Now we can get into the actual twins. 
we're almost done guys so first things first we have the create tween so local create tween is equal to ts create debris right comma tween info dot new boom you're gonna put 0 0.25 seconds once again play around with the numbers you guys see see what you like but i'm gonna go 0 0.25 seconds i'm gonna say comma nm dot sorry easing style i went with quad right then for easing then for easing direction direction i went with out and then put a comma in between the parentheses space special brackets so we can create a table and then i'm going to set the position i'm going to say position it's equal to debris dot position right and then i'm going to say plus i'm going to say plus vector three dot new zero comma five comma zero so it goes up and moves up a little bit then i'm going to place that tween create tween play right then i'm going to set up a delay function we're going to say delay so our printer is going to delay it we're going to say delay and we're going to delay it by four seconds right here's the time and then you can put a comma and then you're going to set up the function so function parentheses close parentheses then enter right then we're going to set up the, the destroy tween so you guys can really copy and paste this so control c control v we're going to change that but but before we do that, let's go ahead and take care of this last thing let's say ds add item we're going to add the uh debris to the uh the breeze to the sur the, we're gonna add the debris to the debris surface. So we're gonna say debris comma two seconds. Once again, if you were if you were adjusting these times, make sure you're adjusting everything. For example, if this if you're making this like any of these times longer than the, like longer than they need to be, right? Well, I'm gonna change this, but if you're making these times uh longer than they need to be, then they are like how I made them. Then you need to also adjust this. Just I'm just letting y'all know. If you change one thing, make sure you adjust everything else. So. We're going to change this to destroy tween, then just paste this over here, right? And then we're going to change this to 0 0.7, right? It's going to be quad out this time, right? We're, we're doing the size and transparency. So we're going to say size is equal to, so we're going to, we can really delete that part, right? We're going to say size is equal to vector3.new, and then this time you can do 0 0.01. And then zero, you do zero point zero one, then zero point zero one, right? Then inside the table, you're gonna put a comma. Make sure, just make sure you know, like you know where you're putting it. Then I'm going to set the transparency. I'm gonna say transparency is equal to one, right? And then eventually, like I said, this so way added to the debris service is gonna be destroyed once it's invisible, so you don't have to worry about that, right? And then boom, just like that, everything should be. Let me just double check. Okay, I'm good. So everything should be good. We can go ahead and test to make sure this works. As always, if you guys want access to any of my scripts or models, you guys can become either a channel member or a Discord subscriber. Link to either one of those options can be found in the description. Let's go ahead and test. Okay, so if I press E, okay, definitely did something wrong. I'm not totally sure what's the matter. Okay, so it's spawning. It's like, what in the world is going on? It's like, they're spawning inside of each other huh strange okay let me see let's see let's see so must have did something wrong so local size okay so size 5 130 size is, size is 2 4 and i set the size 1 1 c frame is when i report that c frame i'm c frame from your angles Zero math the right angle. I'm a zero times C frame ten three. Break cast is debris C frame dot position debris C frame up vector times negative ten comma recast brand. Okay, position is equal to recast opposition plus um vector three dot new zero negative five zero. Um size is equal to vector three dot new. Size equal to the three size size degrees dot c frame. Hmm, that's weird. Okay, then degrees dot c frame is equal to degrees dot c frame dot position. Tell my character, let me see. Position, yeah, human error report character that human error report. Hmm, that's so strange. Character, okay, let's see. Character that human error report dot c frame dot position then for this it was degrees dot c frame dot position degrees dot c frame dot look vector times negative 180 plus degrees dot c frame dot up vector times 180 
Huh, that's so weird. And then position is equal to the so position is equal to debris position plus vector three dot new zero five zero. Huh, that's so that's weird. That's literally everything seems to be working. Everything seems to be like just how it's supposed to be, so I don't really I don't really understand. Hmm. That is strange. Let me see. Hmm, that's weird. I don't get why. Why is it like doing that? Like, hmm. It's like, it's, no, it's not under the map. Under that, yeah. It's like it's like they're all spawning like in the same place. Yeah, it's like they're yeah like they're all spawning in the same place. Where's that C frame character? I can never look. Huh, that's weird. Hmm. I got the character out of the loop. Um, that is strange. I'm not gonna lie, that is strange. Huh. That is that is very weird. I'm not sure what the problem is. Not gonna lie to y'all. Um, let me compare the script. Let me compare the scripts. I got y'all. I got y'all. Let me compare the scripts. Okay, so I'm gonna copy this, and I'm literally just gonna go back to before I started recording the video. So I got y'all before I deleted them. Okay, let me see. Because what is different? Oh, y'all ignore that. But let me see. Okay, so I'm gonna paste this, right? You guys pay attention to this. Okay, so what's disabled is what we're currently doing. And I'm just gonna compare the two. Y'all see, they look the same. I mean, it's like some spacing, but like that's really the same. That's really it. And if I go down here and compare the four, I... let's see what is different. Yeah, see, they 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 are literally identical. It's just some spacing. That's literally the only thing. It's just spacing. Yeah, look vector. Yeah, it's just this look vector and then this look. Yeah, I like guess the same thing. It doesn't matter because it's the same thing. That was the, really the only thing, huh? And then position. Let's see. Okay. Uh, this. Position plus. See, that's weird. Okay, here. I'm gonna try this, guys. I'm gonna try this. Okay, so I'm gonna use the script I was using before, and let me not even let me not even make adjustments to it. I'm gonna change. So this right here. So this is the script I was I made prior to recording the video, right? I'm gonna see something because if if this is working right, I don't know. See, like that's so weird. Like y'all see, it works just fine. It works just fine. Like they're the same thing. They're literally like 45 lines, right? 45, 42. Huh. Did I forget to type something? Like, oh, 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 I'm stupid, I'm stupid. <laughs> oh, I see it, I see it now. Oh, I see it, okay, I see it. I'm so stupid, okay, I see it now, guys, okay. I'm gonna delete this, I see what the problem is, okay. I forgot to increase the angle, that's why. The angle remained at zero, okay. So you wanna click the for loop, right? You wanna go outside of the for loop, right? And then you want to go like, I want to say, or actually, no, you want it to be kind of in the for loop. See, you want it to be kind of in the for loop. So, like, I want to say after the raycast. You want to look after the raycast, right? So, like, about right here, right? You want to say angle plus equal 25. I just peeped that. I just peeped that. Okay, now let's test. That's what I forgot to do because I'm just like, I was like, there we go, there we go. Okay, now it works, now it works. I'm just like, what? I'm so confused. It just looks identical. There we go. Now you guys see we've got the nice debris effect. You guys can add sound effects and everything, but it disappears looking all nicely and everything. You guys can add sound effects and animation and stuff to make it look nice. You can definitely, I guess if you like change the angle, you could also get it to like kind of like punch, like if it was like a punching effect. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave like and subscribe. If you enjoy, let me know in the comments if you guys want more, you know, content like this. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.